Good afternoon, traders. This is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group, and it is Tuesday, October 12th. So another interesting day, a lot of movers, uh, a lot of, um, you know, these little um, rotations that we're seeing on a daily basis. Uh, before we get into any of that risk disclaimer in front of you, everything that we're going through here is for information purposes only. You could read this right here. Um, also, if the video is a little bit blurry, it's just because YouTube has not finished rendering the high definition version of the video. So let's get into some of those movers and separations um, that we've seen. And um, I will give you my two cents on uh, what I think is going on here and uh, responsible for, for some of the moves and um, watching what I uh, like going forward what, and what I dislike going forward. So um, SPY for the day, uh, down again, uh, down a quarter of a percentage point. Um, Qs, really interesting in the Qs, uh, you know, sold off throughout the session, down down about a third of a percent, but... Um, but there was some bright spots in within uh, within the queues and within tech specifically when you look at uh, what the solar stocks did today when you look at what software names did today um, pretty strong within those groups and the small caps don't forget about the small caps uh, they were positive today they contributed to um, to market breadth um, we might as well go ahead and look at the market breadth numbers for the day but you could see our um, our our indicator for the for um, for breath, which is on the bottom left of, uh, of the screen over here, was positive for the day. Once again, um, to be a little bit uh, of uh, Debbie Downer, but um, <laughs> we did see it, you know, go from, you know, weaken a little bit towards the end of the day. And there continues to be, you know, more selling pressure at the end of the day. These mutual funds, you know, a lot of the mutual funds um, have to do, you know, MOC, market on close um, orders. And it appears that, that they are still, uh, selling some some things or selling more than buying right now, uh, but yeah, that's kind of um, what you could see here is just the last four days now. Um, today, to to a lesser extent, you know, not as bad as the three previous days, where we saw uh, breath get uh, get worse. So um, this is day number four. So yeah, let's um let's go back to the S and P here for a second, and we'll go over the technicals. And what else did I want to discuss before we went into that? Um, just to kind of round out the, the macro stuff, bonds were very strong today. Right? Remember, the bond market was closed yesterday. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But, um, but look at TLT up 1.7% for the day. And the VIX remains on just a hair under 20. Um, where are we, 1985? Great year. No. Um, but yeah, that's that's where the the VIX was. Also, the micro caps outperformed for the day. So let's go ahead and look, we'll, let's look at the uh, the the picture for the indices, and then we'll talk about some of the the movers and some of the stands out standouts for the day. But um, there we are. We are back under under value. Um, you know, we got rejected yesterday, uh, right at that downtrend line. Um, so that's a valid line that I drew in there. That was definitely resistance, and 43.54. So we're kind of um, back to being caught in the middle, um, meaning we're above last week's lows. But we're um, so we're above last week's lows, but we're below value, right? And 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 that you know again definition of that is that uh, we are trending down in the short term. Now again that could reverse. Um, it could take one one strong day to reverse, but it is what it is. Um, we are trending down for the for the moment. Um, if we look at the one hour value area just to see, uh, you know, what's what's shaking there, um, we're going to have some support at 43.07, right? And that's um, you know a little bit above what where we got in the in the pre market session. So, you know, again, um, what this looks like to me, you know, when what some of my quick analysis that I was doing um, during the day is is just showing that um, you know the red candles look a lot bigger than the green ones right so there's there's just still a lot of selling going on right now in this market and you know you could see you know the high for the day you know the market web is doing a, a great job for us telling telling us in this market where to take profits um, where not to press and uh, we'll see that in some of the um, in some of the charts I'm going to show you and some, some of the names that we're moving, but 43, 43.63, you know, and I had said it in the room earlier. Um, I had mentioned, 
you know, right. Um, we've got a, got a lot of notes for the day. Um, but, um, you know, I, 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 I said, watch this 43-63. First attempt, <clears throat> rejected. And that was the only attempt for the day. And that's kind of how things have been going. You know, um, just like yesterday, for example, you know, the, what happened yesterday was, you know, we got to a high of, uh, you know, a high for the day around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, started to slip. And there was no, like, holding of the slip. You know, we just kept on going. So, um there was no basic, you know, there was, a, there was a feeble second attempt here, but you could see, you know, and a lot of these bars that you see with these wicks, um, you know, they start to go higher in, in the beginning of like the, the five minute bar. And by the end of the, the bar, a lot of times what we're seeing is the, the bar closes red or you've got a long wick on these candles. But, um, but yeah, that's so, so right now um, we don't know how long that's going to last for, but just more stocks maybe not so much today because the breath was stronger particularly in the in the 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 small caps but um you know for now there's just there's more selling going on right and you could look at that by by the s p um here are the numbers by the way if i didn't go over these uh 21 decliners in the dow two uh versus seven advancers 262 decliners in the s p versus 238 and here's where you have the uh the positive breath Right, so in Nasdaq, and a lot of that is um, is small caps. Right, let's so let's go over the Nasdaq really quickly. So Nasdaq futures, um, still, you know, this is definitely trending down. We are below all the short-term moving averages, the fi the five, the twenty, the fifty. All right, so we, we are we are trending down, even though there's some bright spots in the market. Um, the overall the overall averages are weak. Um, small caps, which were kind of, and, and still range bound, but the range bound is now doing better than, you know, is, is, is better than going down, uh, right now. So, um, that's back up right at the 200 day moving average Two nineteen forty nine is going to be your support. And that's not far away. So, um, we'll just kind of have to see how this, uh, how this goes for the rest of the week. But, um, clearly there's a lot of selling, there's more aggressive selling going on in the overall market um, right now, especially in the large caps. Again, I, I, I keep contradicting myself because we did see that the small caps had some strength to them today. All right. And um, I wanted to mention, you know, the performance in the queues. If you look at the movers for the day in the queues, right? So things like crowds, you know, the, things like the cyber names did very well today. Uh, the software names did very well, and a, and a few other things like DXCM was in there, uh, Tandem, which I don't know if Tandem's in the queues. I guess it's not, but that was another outperformer for the day. So again, you know, some pockets of growth um, really did well. So the, so let's go over to the next concept. When I mentioned growth, you, know, you got to look at what the bonds did. Um, well, you know, again, there, there's not the one for one relationship, but. Um, but certainly on a day like this, when, when you see bonds really rally, 30-year uh, futures, 30-year 30, 30 um, uh, bond futures were up almost 1%. And if you look at TLT, remember they're different. They are um, different maturities that you have within bond, the 30-year the bond futures and, and the TLT. The duration is completely different, um, but you could see this was up 1.7% today, um, and we found uh, there was a virgin point of control that was taken out uh, right around the low of the, the day. It looks like that was taken out, so so you got a nice bounce back, and and that gave you know some of the growth areas a chance to outperform. Um, that was the last thing that I said in the pre-market session. I said watch for the growth areas to kind of some of these growth areas to snap back a little bit. Uh, part of my thinking was as well is that you've just gotten like the sediment really shifted, right? Everybody's been talking about the cyclicals, you know, about owning energy, about owning um, other commodity plays, as well as the banks, including myself. I've been, you know, I talked about that and, and a lot of my watch list going into the week was, um, you know, a bit more cycli cyclical plays. Uh, but you, you have to be on guard for when things start to get pretty ripe in terms of um, you know the sediment getting pretty negative and 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 um, you know everybody maybe getting a little bit under positioned 
in growth, right? So you do see those snapback rallies like we saw today. So um, a couple names. We'll go, go right to some of the heavy hitters. Um, but if you look at an upstart, right? So this is something that I've been holding. Um, but you know where did it, so I took a target today. I'm right at 337, right? I'm gonna I'm going to honor, especially right now, uh, I'm gonna honor where there's resistance, right? CrowdStrike was a big was a nice mover today, right? Uh, I think the CEO is gonna be on uh, Kramer. I'm not sure if they're they're having a, their their analyst day, but this thing stopped right around the, the bottom of value. Um, also, if you look at where this thing stopped, and again, it's not to say that the, it can't get over this, but when you're dealing with a market as difficult as this is right now, you, I want to be honoring where there's even you know little short-term resistance. So 253 stopped right at the top of value, and you do have another VPOC up there. It's just just three dollars up at 2 256. Um, so you know that is um, that's another level to watch if we can if you can get past the 253 um obviously like like the the best in breed right now is this cloud flare and you know i think i haven't really studied this that much but it seems like there's a lot of things that are coming up um by on down detector right it came into today i heard gmail was down and i heard um that facebook was down again this morning and this company just seems to just really get momentum the more that you hear things are down um, because that's what they do, and, and maybe they're going get, to be getting a lot of business, you know, because of all these outages that are happening all over the place. And uh, you know, I don't know, uh, and I'm curious to know what the story is with all these things that are down every day, um, inter intermittently. Like they're not down all day, but you'll hear, oh, this, you know, AWS is down for a couple hours. So um, it's kind of interesting what's going on, and, and I wish I had more of a um, of an understanding of it, but. What I do understand is that when that happens, it seems like this cloud flare just goes up. So um, that's my little theory on, on today. Um, you know, a few other names that look pretty decent. Um, BILL, you know, made a nice move. Hubs made a huge move today on their analyst day. Now, they did give back a lot of those profits. I mean, still finished up 11% for the day, but they were all the way up to 814, right? So another what over 50 bucks higher so very strong on that and um inmd is another name D again didn't close on the absolute highs i don't believe no um but again up 8.6 percent for the for the day so and i think this did take out uh maybe it didn't take out a one hour uh, version point of control but i think a, f a five minute one all right a, um, a couple other names that were that caught attention today. DOCN uh, was another one. Um, Datadog, which is one that I traded for the day, but you could see um, I took a target right out at 147, right? So right now, especially with when we're seeing these, could just be one day rotation and then certain areas go cold. So, you know, there's a great opportunity for me to, to take a quick profit target on this one. And uh, this is a name that I keep coming back to, you know, in terms of um, re-adding positions um, to that. So what else did I trade today? Uh, uh, you know, a couple other things. So Salesforce, I was watching Salesforce for the last um, couple days. Um Gave this a shot today. I think it did take out one of these version of just a five minute version point of control. And if you're not familiar with the concept, I keep saying version point of control. It is where a lot of buyers and sellers previously have met up before, but they haven't returned to. So it's almost the same concept as a gap, right? I know a lot of people like to look at gaps in their trading. Oh, this gap is filled or this gap is is unfilled. Well, a lot of times the price does come back when it's in the vicinity of one of these. It, it will go out and seek where there was a lot of buyers and sellers previously, take it out and sometimes revert. Um, hence what we talked about yesterday, right? Um, oil. Where did oil get to yesterday? Right? The exact level that I talked about. Um, it's funny. I, I, I Sometimes I need to retweet things for people to understand, but I, I mentioned this yesterday morning when this uh, 80, $82 VPOC was taken out. And I said, hey, I think that's, you know, a short-term top is in. Again, short term. I'm not calling for the top in oil. 
um, we could definitely keep going. But that was a place for me to sell some energy stocks, right? And immediately, people told me, oh, it's going to 100. Okay, I, I would rather use, you know, pre precise technical signals, <laughs> right? So that you have, so that you know how to do that instead of just straight up predictions. Because um, everybody likes to make predictions. I get it. Everybody thinks they know. Um, but I, I would like to, to use, um, you know, something a little bit better than that. And, and that's what I use on, on my screens. But I, I always find it funny. As soon as like, hey, guys, did you see this? Like, this was exactly where I thought it was going to back off. Oh, no, it's going to 90. It's going to 100. Okay. <laughs> um, LPX, you know, so we talked about this in yesterday's video, right? Um, we talked about how that there was some strength in the, in the lumber slash forest, forestry companies. Um, so this finally did break out. I did take a couple targets in this because that's the name of the game right now is to lock some money in um, and then you can, you know, possibly add back um, if the position, you know, moves back. Um, MGM we talked about yesterday. Congrats if you if you got this trade. Um, you know, it just looked like it was setting up for, for the last week, right? I was calling the price action very tight over the last couple of days and, you um, it just looked like it was going to eventually resolve to the to the upside. Did I know exactly when and where that was going to happen? No, but very very strong and 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 a f just about a full green bar, right? So just very impressive, you know, on the back of um, an analyst note today. But it, it just looked like it was it, it was ready to go. Uh, I got out of my sun position. You know, I'm again making sure that I take some profits and not get super greedy. Right, this could continue to go, but the options are so wide with this thing. Um, but happy to get out of this position. Um, I took profits in AMN, AMN Healthcare. Um, nice green bar for the day. Um, again, I, I might be leaving some on the table here. Um, I like this MSI. Right, so I, I I did add a couple of positions today. Hey, if I'm going to get, um, so my my feeling on this, you know, difficult market is if I'm going to get a signal, I'm I'm most likely going to take the trade, right, in some fashion, um, but I will have a tight stop, right, and I will be honoring that stop, right. So for this, if it breaks back below the 50-day moving average or the bottom of value, I usually give myself a little bit of tolerance, especially if I see two different levels of support. Um, I will I will honor that. All right, I'm just going to bounce around a couple other names that I was watching today. Ulta um, did break. This is another one that I've been watching. So this one, I, there was a signal, but I didn't, I didn't, I had to pick and choose. Um, why? Because I didn't want to put 10 trades on. Um, LYV, uh, Live Nation, very nice looking um, candle for the day. Uh, I believe if we didn't talk about this in yesterday's video, I certainly posted a couple charts. Um, I like the little digestion, you know, small volume in the pullback and a little bit of a gr bigger green, uh, green volume day to go along with the green candle. Now, again, I, I like to look at these one hour charts. So a little bit preemptive of me to, to get into the position because um, it does have to break 119. All right. Um, we could talk a little bit about this this Apple news that hit. Um, you know, I don't know if there's anything fishy to this. Um, the support level to watch is 139.40. But you know, if you've been noticing what's been going on um, with the semiconductors, which to me, I'll say the same word that I used earlier. It's concerning. It's concerning that they have demand, but they can't. So there's a there was a virgin point of control taken out. So there is some support for Apple. Um, I put on a little bit of an Apple trade, so this will be a loser. You know, put on a small trade um, for the for the event. Um, I like to play Apple when there's a, an event ahead, but unfortunately got hit with this news uh, after the close. All right, and um, but yeah, let's look at the overall semis. All right, so here's the semiconductors, and they're very close to taking out the lows from last week. So. I would watch this 249 level pretty closely in the semiconductors. That is not something that I want to see. Um, I do use, you know, besides looking at the the direct price and trend of things, I do like to weight certain sectors a little bit more in terms of importance. And I view the semiconductors as very important. 
you know they, they go into they're the building blocks of a lot of things that are made and if they start to break down it doesn't matter what the reason is um, because I don't know what's I, I don't know if it's just because that they can't build their chips and there's so much demand for these chips but they they just they don't have the materials to make them um, regardless if they start to break down right I don't think I think that that's a bad sign overall uh, for the for the market for the economy um, it's it is concerning too I, I will give you my, my quick view on on some things just outside of the market but I find it very concerning that that you can't a lot of a lot of products cannot not just the semiconductors and electronic parts but you you can't build things right now and that's a problem you know our the GDP of the country is what 70 percent is is com comes from consumers right and if consumers can't get the products that they're that they're trying for it you know and i don't know how long the transitory you know we hear that this is supposed to be a temporary issue but um, we have not really seen it get much we have not seen it turn the corner and get better um it's fact it seems like it's getting worse but i'm not an expert in this and i will let the prices judge but it's just one of those things to make you really think you know how much worse is this going to get that that if you try to buy something and it doesn't come for three months six months right depending on on, on what it is furniture um you know appliances right some things that probably need very little chips but yeah i mean and you look at what's going on and, and some of like from what i understand you know memory chips are probably a little bit easier to make and if you look at what's going on in micron um seagate technology you know western digital they all look very weak and um yeah, so that's my word. That's my word of this video is it's concerning. So, you know, you know, so if if you kind of share the same concerns and if you're seeing this price action that's whippy, right? Regardless of like some of these factors that are going on, um, it's you know the adjustments are important. You know, if you're if you want to continue to trade like you normally trade, um, you know, maybe dial down number one the positions that you're holding and number two the position size right that is a big thing if you tone down your position size right you could still kind of go through the motions of trading um, but you're just lessening your, your impact a lot and that could really help in it in, in a more difficult tape but um, that's it you know a couple other things you know took another target in my in my coffee trade you know here's another one too Right, that's just going, you know, to the upside with a lot of uh, momentum. This was up. Uh, coffee was up five percent today. Right, so I'm a big fan of coffee. I figure I like to uh, trade the things that I like too. Um, you know, or have have a feel for those things. Um, any other tickers that I have on my sheet? I think that's it for now. There's there's a number of other areas. The solar names were strong for a second day in a row. You know, I think that's good. Um, a name that I mentioned yesterday was Sunrun. You know, it was up another four or five percent. Excuse me, eight and a half percent today. All right. So so getting it over this um, plug plug power. Um, that's a name I got long yesterday. You know, they have an event this week too. They were up over seven percent for the day. So these little trades are really kind of you know helping me out and saving my PL. Um, because not every name is doing this, you know, there's, I have some problem areas. Like I got into Boeing yesterday, um, that stock we'll see, I'll, I'm going to give it one more day for Boeing, but you know, getting rejected at the 200 day moving a average. Um, I did take profits in it, but I'm still in a portion of the, of the trade. And I actually rolled, um, some of that out to December. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, um, charts that kind of look like this. So, um, it's nice to find the momentum and and I would say as well you know just on a positive positive point here um, which I've said in the past when the market is difficult but this is not an easy market right now so you know if you're if you're managing through it and you're staying objective honoring your stops you know you're gonna be more 
ready when this market is uh, is a little bit easier you know to trade so you know think of this as really good education and really good um learning you know on on how to take off trades where you should um and this way you could kind of live to fight it you know another day and and if you're making some money in this market congratulations to you right because this this is not easy to do um you know i made money yesterday although it was one of it was a very frustrating day yesterday <laughs> even though i made money um and then um and then today made money today too but you know pnl did not finish on the high of the day in in both cases so um but that's just the environment that we're in right now. All right, guys, I'll leave it there. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.